in this video I'm going to prove definitively that everybody else, especially the LGBT community, is actually hating the LGBT community. And I'm the only one trying to help you. Okay. So 1999, there were already more LGBT people in America than people altogether in Israel. So they don't need to spread their numbers at all. There's quite a few of them. Number one, if you care about the LGBT community and the people as individuals, the people in the LGBT communities as, as individuals, you will insist on truth for them. You will also insist on the essence of a sane love in reality, what is actually best for them and a love derived from that and not the fairy psychological construct that is being used, not this corporate state garbage that is being used. Therefore, the people who are doing this are evil, right? The people who are persecuting me, the people who run the LGBT community, they're evil first and foremost before they are any sexual orientation or race. So you always hear me say the white Jew and LGBT communities are the main people doing this, right? They're social orders, they're shot callers, and the rest of them are rolling with it and playing stupid and not helping me and so on and so forth. All right, point number two. What becomes of the souls of a corporate state broken family? Are not all reasonable and worthwhile dreams crushed in a corporate state broken family? Okay, and I'm referring to your families, not mine. My parents gave birth to, to me, brought me forth into this world, and that's bearing fruit, okay? And I am bearing fruit every day, and I'm not doing what the corporate state wants. Again, I'm not gay, and I'm not a uh, token minority ex or a criminal or an evil person, etc. All right, where was I? Um, why don't you care enough to stand, okay, why don't you care enough to stand with me against them? Admit that they have basically ruined you and live the reality, 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 that standing for what is best is all that is left to do, okay? Going to Disneyland, playing patty cake, playing video games, okay? Substance abuse, these aren't things that are worthwhile. They're simply not. Forcing LGBT culture, dress and or sexual orientation on people is just as immoral as forcing white supremacy on people. So trying to make it so they, they dye my clothes recently to try to make them pink. And they try to do things to make it so I don't wear other clothes. And that's a form of forcing LGBT culture dress. And obviously they've been harassing me, trying to make me gay. Okay, and that is just as immoral as forcing white supremacy on people. Okay, that's part of why the token minorities helping them are token minorities. They're trying to force white supremacy on people, and that's what people who aren't true to their culture, true to God, would do. And not people who are minorities, who are oppressed, who aren't helping the oppressor. Okay. Three, gravity pulls down and righteousness pulls up. I'll let you figure out what I mean by that. I'm running out of time here. Four, they have asked you to help turn out the youth in their generation. Okay, look at Generation Z said, saying to be, you know, 40% uh, LGBT. How'd they go from 2 to 10% at most to 40% in like one or two generations, okay? Because they're turning out the youth. With coercion, with psychology, there's no other way it could be. And you all know that I'm right. So what will they ask Generation Z when they are older? And the children of Generation Z, if this is what they asked you, is that not part of why they are called Generation Z? The last letter of the alphabet, they are the last ones who could possibly be human if they are morally precise. This is part of why you should stop breeding. And again, you might not like the truth, but this is the truth. And I'll end by saying this. If you care about the LGBT community and the people of the community as individuals, you will insist on the truth for them. You will also insist on the essence of a sane love and reality, what is actually best for them and not the fairy psychological construct that is being used. Therefore, the people who disagree with me and who are doing this, okay, are evil first and foremost before they are any sexual orientation or race, and they don't care about the LGBT community. Point blank.